In the 22nd question, we have a pretty interesting expression, integration of this. Now you have cos x, cos x, but you have x minus a, x minus b, complicated, yes. These are linear expressions, right? Could be solved easily if you know certain things. What are those certain things? You need to apply a very peculiar step. Remember, in such questions, when you have cos and cos in the denominator and sine or cos in the denominator, what do you need to do? So you remember sine of a minus b is equal to sine a cos b minus cos a sine b. This is something which you, should, which you are aware of, right? Okay. And if, if I divide throughout, if I divide this expression throughout by cos a cos b, what happens? This is sine of a minus b. In the denominator, you have cos a cos b, which is equal to sin a cos b cos a cos b, which is tan a minus cos a cos a can cancels. This is tan b. Do I know the integrals of these? Now, integral of tan x, let's recall, integral of tan x dx is equal to what? Is equal to log mod sec x plus c. And this is what I'll be using. Integral of tan x is log of mod sec x plus c. This is something that we remember and this is something that we'll be using, but first and foremost important step is what I've shown you over here. What is that? If you have these two angles of cosine in the denominator, observe that this and this, the difference of these two, x minus a minus of x minus b, the difference of these two angles is constant, yes, is a constant, yes. So I can multiply and divide by the sine of this angle. That's the important step. So I is equal to, what I do is, I multiply with sine of this difference. In the denominator, you have cos of x minus a, cos of x minus b. I multiply with this difference and I divide by that difference. What is that difference? Oh, now you want to simplify this. Yes, I want to simplify this. This is actually b minus a, which is a constant, right? Integral of this whole thing with respect to x is what I'm looking forward to. But this is a constant, right? It will come out of the integral. So this is 1 upon sine of b minus a. Okay, integral of this whole expression. If you observe sine of a minus b, one cos a cos b. Sine of a minus b upon cos a cos b is actually tan a minus tan b, right? I can expand this, right, whole thing, but what I'll be getting is tan of x minus a minus tan of x minus b at the end of the day. This is what I'll get. And integrating the, with respect to x is something what I need to do next. Integral of tan x is log mod sec x. Integral of tan x is again log mod sec x. Okay, 1 upon sine b minus a will remain as it is into integral of tan x minus a will be log mod sec of x minus a. At max, you need to divide by the coefficient of x since this is a linear expression of x. Dividing by coefficient of x, which is 1, will not make any difference, right? Minus log mod sec of x minus b. This is what I get and plus a constant of integration, plus a constant of integration. This is the expression. Okay, and log something minus log something, log m minus log n is can be done as log of m by n, right? This is the final form or, or I can write i as 1 upon sine b minus a log of mod sec x minus a upon sec x minus b. Modulus, this is what I get, plus constant. Using, using log x minus log y is equal to log x upon y. This or this can be the final answer. That's the form. Either this form or this form. Leave the answer at any stage. 
and uh, that's all that's the final integral that's a complete solution with the help of this important thing right now there could have been another kind of question over here you could have had sin of x minus a and cos of x minus b if you had that kind of an expression so you'll have to think in terms of cos a minus b cos a cos b minus sin a sin b and that will give you an integrable form so in that case you'll have to multiply and divide with cos of this minus this and cos of b minus a will come over here right if these are similar functions taking them similar that is if this is cos cos and sin sin you will have to use multiplication and division by sin and if this is sin cos then you'll have to use multiplication and division by cos right that's the important thing with this idea you can solve any such question coming in front of you that's a complete solution of this 22nd question